So after my first video, my friends hit me up and said, hey, Turk, you better mate like Busta Rhymes and it was a woman asking me, yo D, I read the book and maybe I missed something, but I'm trying to figure out how to know whether or not I should give my guy another chance. So of course I hit her back and I said, I need more context than that, what's going on? And she said, well, cheating. He stepped out on me um, and it's been a couple of times. And typically that is a clear cut, absolute, don't go back, don't fuck with that whatsoever, right? But since she's even thinking about giving him another chance, I say, let me just fully consider all the context. So she said not only multiple times, she had to catch him every single time like he's been lying 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 until she shows proof that she knows that he's lying and i said okay cool well with that being said of course that's a no-go you know hey how you doing youtube i'm here i'm back again and it's the second round and this time we're going for a knockout now your boy Derek jackson i called him out about three years ago and of course i was met by People dragging me and calling me a hater. Cut to about a week ago and now I went from a hater to a prophet. How did I do that? Easy, I kind of seen through his bullshit like I already said. I told you. I hate to dance and toot my own horn, but... I told you, not once, not twice, multiple times, over a dozen. But you guys fell for it, not me. I feel bad for the ones who believed in him. But I knew, I knew his time was coming. But there's more. Let's talk about it. I live forever, I don't ever die Murder, murder, murder on my mind Line after line after line Time after time, I'ma thrive Push a button, then I start to drive Surf boy ripping through the tides What's up, you guys? So, since the last time that I spoke to you guys Derek Jackson has now made an apology video Cool, he apologized And this was gonna be a reaction, but there was a lot of reactions that I seen and I'm thinking, wow, these are great. You guys are doing good, but fuck a reaction. We just going to talk about it. So this is my reaction without reacting to his actual video, but he made a apology video, which was cool. And then he makes a reaction video to his apology video, giving himself and people advice. Now, this guy lost it. There's something seriously wrong with him. And if you don't see it, then there's probably something wrong with you. At one point in his reaction to his sorry video, he's saying, oh, a bunch of you probably compared your guys to him. And mind you, he's speaking in third person. A bunch of you probably compared your man to him and thinks things didn't measure up. But I've seen a lot of women put this dude on the pedestal to the point of idealizing him and even comparing their man to him. Like they, they'll compare their man's good, bad and ugly whole story to Derek Jackson's snippet. If that's not the most narcissistic shit that you can say, bruh, come on. I don't think you're gonna find a better video than this. So stay tuned. If you're a woman and you're watching this, please think about this. He's made a whole career off finessing women. How are you going to respond? Don't worry about it. Because you're right here. I got you. Let's talk about exactly what he did. Women lie, men lie. I don't know who does it better, but I would say it's about a tie right now. But the way he played you guys, I got to give him credit. That shit was, shit was pretty good. So you know how women have a intuition about things like, you know, that gut feeling. Sometimes you guys are right, but nobody is as smart as they think they are. Let me explain. So you got that gut feeling that something is going wrong, right? And sometimes there's absolutely nothing going wrong. But here's this guy in his car. He's going to tell you you're right. You're 100% right about that idea that you have in your head. If you think your man is cheating on you, you're probably right. Because women's thoughts are never wrong. And if you're a real man, you would just tell her you're cheating instead of telling her no and hiding the story. 
So he's telling you guys you're right. That is master manipulation because now he's on your side. He's telling you you're right all the time. He's being your yes man. Who likes yes men? Nobody really likes yes men because it gets you in situations like this. So even though you are wrong, he's going to tell you you're right just to fill your ego. You know, make you feel good and now you're following him. You guys get it? Also, he was teaching you guys game, but he was only giving you half the game, you know? It's like catching somebody in a lie and then you give half the truth. Therefore, you know he did some type of wrong, but he's not telling you all the wrong he did. For example, he'll sit in his car and say something like this. If a man takes you out to dinner and his phone is upside down on the table, there's clearly a notification that he doesn't want you to see. Now that's half the game, because he would put his phone down on the table face up, but then turn the notifications off. You feel me? He gave you half the game. Now I'm not going to be like him, because I'm not a love guru, and nor am I here to give you guys game, but I'm telling you, he's only giving you half of it. So you guys think he's being honest, and he's being 50% honest. Sorry, sad but true. He was giving y'all half the game, you know, like half truths and the other half, he was just mind f***ing you. Look, I'm an ex bull -er. I know these things. My life has changed, but I still know game. But my voice is not big enough for you guys to hear me. Yet, with the way he built his following, Derek Jackson just didn't cheat on his wife. He cheated on all of you. Derek Jackson's wife is Hurt Bay for 2021. And he's still trying to sell tickets to his seminar in the middle of all this. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Derek. And then he has his wife on the apology video. She's looking like a vessel, like she has no emotion. She just looks soulless, it's just eyes looking at a camera. It's the worst thing that we could possibly see. And then she says, you know, you guys should forgive because I know God forgave him. How you know? How you know God forgave him? In the middle of all this, he's trying to sell a book. He's saying, this is how we made it through, pretty much. Um, how to heal without hurting each other. Bro, are you serious? You trying to sell a book about it now? This is all a game to you. Your wife is hurt. Your wife is hurt. And you're trying to sell a book about it. You're trying to profit off her pain. Are you serious? This is the love guru that you guys decided to follow and some of you are still gonna support him? Talking about 50% off. You gonna have to pay me to read that book at this point. If anything, you should write a book on how to be a master manipulator and cheater. And if I had to read body language, you look like an abuser, physically and mentally. The man didn't even let his wife register the fact that he just got done cheating before he tried to make a profit off it. Derek Jackson became an internet sensation and got stuck in character. It's like when actors method act like the Joker and get stuck in that character forever. Yeah, that's him. Derek Jackson cheated on his wife, found God, and starts blaming the devil. All right, let's try to be a little positive. But here's the summary of the whole thing. Derek Jackson did not speak facts. He spoke to what you wanted to hear. This is the perfect example of it takes a man to no one. All in all, apologies are great, but make sure they're sincere. I can't say that your apology is sincere if you're trying to profit off it. You know, say sorry, let people know, and that be it. You're human, you make mistakes, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the fact that it immediately immediately turns into a money grab if that's not fucked up i don't know what it is and if you can support that then so be it i'm sure the man made hundreds of thousands if not millions off manipulating you guys if you still want to feed him and his family off the bullshit he be spitting then go for it by all means but if you are going to keep listening to it, shit, help me out, you know? Watch my videos and share those, because <laughs> I could get my guru on. <laughs> I might be the guru killer, because I'll do shit like this all day. This is Turk, and this is my second round knockout. Hmm. I think I'm done with this situation.
All jokes aside, listen to me. Steve Harvey and Derek Jackson has come up with ways where women's supposed to be treated, think like a man mentality, all that stuff. And they're both cheaters. Steve Harvey's cheated on his wife plenty of times. And it seems like Derek Jackson is more of the same. Stop taking advice from these love gurus. And this is what you should do instead. You do what you think is right. Do what your heart desires. Do what makes you happy. And that's the key. And I said, okay, cool. Well, with that being said, of course, that's a no-go. Dad, what's wrong? Had Henny, now I'm sipping on the deuce deuce. I just want to drink it big on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm still here. Well, while you're here, go ahead and click that like button. And the subscribe button. Okay. The notification bell, too. Leave a comment saying you did so. Lastly, click the video on the right for more cool content. It's turp time.